Hey everyone, it's Jordan, Millionaire Millennial. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so and click that bell so you guys get notified anytime I release a new video. Today's video, I'm gonna cover the top three things that you shouldn't do if you're selling on Amazon. Number one, drop shipping. I know that a lot of people think drop shipping is a really great way to make money, and it is if you're doing your own Shopify store or if you're doing on an eBay or really any other e-commerce site. But drop shipping to Amazon is a bad idea because Amazon takes their shipping policies very seriously. If you are late on a shipment or if you don't provide an accurate tracking number or any of the other things that could possibly go wrong when you're drop shipping, then your account health will go down, you'll get dings to your metrics, and this can ultimately lead to you being suspended entirely from Amazon. Although drop shipping is technically allowed by Amazon, it's not very profitable and it's very risky to your account. Most people shopping on Amazon look for the Prime sticker next to the item that they want to buy, and they're not going to buy from any other third-party seller that's not selling using FBA. So if you really want to drop ship, set up your own Shopify store, run some ads to it on Facebook or even YouTube, and then drop ship from places like AliExpress or even eBay, or you can drop ship from Amazon, but as long as you're not drop shipping to Amazon, because that is something that can get you suspended. Number two, shipping in a box that's longer than 24 inches on the longest side. This is a very hidden policy, but Amazon does take it very seriously. If you ship in a box that's longer than 24 inches, and it does not contain a product that is longer than 24 inches, then they will take this very seriously. They'll send you one warning, and then they'll probably suspend your account. So keep this in mind when you're making a new shipment, not to put a bunch of items in a single box that's over two feet long on the longest side, but to maybe break that down into two smaller boxes and ship those in separately. What was that last thing? Selling trademarked or branded products. Most professional arbitrage sellers, if you're doing retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, will already know this, but you really want to stay away from selling big brands unless you've been previously ungated, as in you've been selling for several years because these brands are now gated and you're not allowed to sell brands like this. Examples are Nike, Disney, Nintendo, any brand name that you know is very large, they have a very large presence on Amazon and will come after your listings and eventually your account and get you suspended. This does not mean that arbitrage is dead though. There are still several ungated and unregulated brands that you can sell on under Amazon. And Amazon has also yet to gate any of the books in the book category. So you're still allowed to sell any kinds of books by any author. So guys, I know this was a really short video, but I hope this helped you out in understanding the things that you shouldn't do on Amazon. And I'll be back in a few days with a new video. I'll see you guys then.